Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, a word to my brethren, my man then out there in Fresno, California. Shout out to Fresno, California. Speaking of Fresno, California, we're going to talk about Fresno's very own Jose Ramirez, who's got the biggest fight of his career to date coming up on Saturday with Amir Youngmaster Imam. They're going to be fighting for the vacant 140-pound WBC title and that'll be at the theater at Madison Square Garden. So it should be a good fight. Looking forward to how that goes. Um, but it is worth noting that this is Jose Ramirez is really like, like his true step-up fight. His first step-up fight in his boxing career. It's coming in his 22nd fight. You know, Ramirez, 2012 Olympian, good body puncher. You know, I think he's got a lot of things going for him really well in boxing. First of all, we mentioned the amateur background. You know, he, he has a lot of great amateur experience. He's won, like, you know, he was an Olympian, won world championships, all that good stuff in the amateurs. Um, I actually lost to Vasilo Macheco, which is interesting. But, you know, one thing that's going well for him, and you guys got to understand this, because I have I have friends, or I, I have a, I'm going to say this, I have a friend. I have a friend who works for um, Greg Cohen Promotions. I actually... Did an interview with him, but I had to take it down recently. But my friend Cliff, and I was spending—I remember my friend Cliff. I, I was spending time with him, and I, I only got I only got a lot of insight into what how these promoters think, and based on what he was telling me, like how the promoters think, and then applying that to what I know about Jose Ramirez. Jose Ramirez has a lot going for him. You know, this guy has proven thus far in his career. You know, if you go and go his last couple of fights, fighting in Fresno, California, he sold. You know, ten thousand plus tickets on multiple occasions, and he doesn't—he he doesn't even have the world title yet. So when you look at that, when you look at the fact that he's already proven to be a big second seller in his hometown, that he is a fan-friendly fighter as far as his style, going to the body, he, he comes to fight. And then you look at the fact that he's a Mexican American fighter. We could be very well looking at if, if he goes in there and he beats him up, like a lot of people are picking him to do. He could be the next Mexican star in boxing. He's got a, he's got he's got that kind of a chance um, with Bob Aaron behind him, with his style, with his ability to sell tickets, with him now fighting on ESPN this weekend, getting more exposure. He needs to have a great performance this weekend because should he do that, he's going to be able to parlay that into a lot of great opportunities. Because you know Bob Aaron has Lomachenko in his stable, he has Manny Pacquiao in his stable of fighters, and it's very possible. That Jose Ramirez um, in the near future could get a Pacquiao fight, could get a Lomachenko fight. This is these are the alternate things we have to consider because a lot of, a lot of time we're talking about Manny Pacquiao fighting a Terence Crawford or Danny Garcia or guys like that. But we need to consider Jose Ramirez because of the fact that he's a top ranked fighter. It's an A house fight. He's Mexican American with a crowd pleasing style who showed the ability to sell tickets. They could literally like Pacquiao has shown the willingness to go to people's hometowns. They could literally, and I'm just, I'm, I'm just throwing this out there. They could literally bring Pacquiao to Fresno, California, and they would sell tickets there. I'm, I'm, they probably won't do that, but it'll probably be like a Vegas fight or a LA type of a fight. But Jose Ramirez's potential to be a star in the sport is very, very high, and I don't think it's really dawned on me. Or hit me till just like recently, uh, as I was thinking more about this fight and digging in a little more into Jose Ramirez. Um, he's got options: Lomachenko, Pacquiao. I mean, it's not the wrong possibility. Maybe one day, if Terence Crawford's at one forty, at one forty-seven still, and he moves one forty-seven. Maybe Crawford versus Ramirez. You know, there's options. So, um, yeah, he's got a lot of potential, and uh, it starts this weekend with, with Amir and Mom. Um, who is going to be a good barometer to see where he's at. Amir Mom has been a, 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 a good fighter at 140 pounds for a couple of years now. Hasn't been able to quite reach that world title, world championship stage of his career. Um, but he's got some good wins in his resume. And um, fighting a long, lanky guy like that with one punch knockout power makes for an interesting fight. So we'll see how he deals with that. We'll see how, with, with how he deals for the first time, really, on a, on a big stage at the pro rank, pro, pro level, because it'll be on – it'll be on – Nationally televised fight on ESPN, and um, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how he does. So, yeah, he's got a lot of options. He's got a lot of things going for him, and um, 
just consider consider the possibilities, guys. All right. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Take the time to subscribe. And like I say, every single video. You can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys.